Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that you have already learned what is a line of symmetry, let's talk about horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry. So can you guess what could be horizontal and vertical lines of symmetry? I think you would have guessed it partially. So any horizontal or vertical line dividing an object into two equal parts. So I am sure all of you by now know what is a horizontal line. So this is a horizontal line and a vertical line, this one is a vertical line. So let's take examples so that it becomes clear to you. Now any object can have only horizontal line of symmetry or only vertical line or both or none. Okay, let's take this example. Let's consider the, let, the alphabet B. So when you look at this alphabet B, if I ask you, uh, does this alphabet possess symmetry? So for that, what we do, you imagine different lines and you try to see if that line divides it into two equal parts. So in case of B, you would see that there is a horizontal line which divides B exactly into two equal parts which coincide each other completely. Right? So this line is a horizontal line of symmetry because the line is a horizontal line but at the same time it divides B into two equal halves. So it is a line of symmetry as well. So this is horizontal line of symmetry. Now for B, do you think that there would be a vertical line of symmetry as well? So vertical line of symmetry would be something like this. A vertical line which is passing through the center of the object which is center of B. But do you think it divides it into two equal halves? No. So this half is like it, the, the one half looks like this. The other half looks like this. So they are definitely not identical. Therefore, this is not a line of symmetry. So the alphabet B has only horizontal line of symmetry. So as I said, some objects will have only horizontal line of symmetry. Whereas you, you can come across other objects which have only vertical line of symmetry. Look at this triangle. So when you look at this triangle, let's think of a vertical line of symmetry. So this vertical line clearly divides the triangle into two equal halves. So this half and this half, they are exactly identical and equal and they overlap each other. So definitely this vertical line of symmetry is present in the triangle. Now what about horizontal line? So when you think of this horizontal line, so you see one part is like this, the other part is like this. So do you think they are identical? No, they are not identical. So a triangle, this triangle has only vertical line of symmetry. Let's look at this rectangle. So in case of a rectangle, you have a vertical line of symmetry like this and you also have a horizontal line of symmetry because both the horizontal and the vertical lines, they divide the rectangle into two equal halves. So therefore, the rectangle has both lines of symmetry. So the both criteria example would be a rectangle. Let's look at this picture. So what is this? This is some random closed figure. So when you look at this, this doesn't have a vertical line of symmetry because there is no such line of, no such vertical line which can divide it into two equal halves. At the same time, it doesn't have any horizontal line also which can divide it into two equal halves. So this is basically an example of the none category. That is, it doesn't have either a horizontal line of symmetry or a vertical line of symmetry. So in this fashion, we see that Certain objects have horizontal lines along which when you fold the paper, the object gets divided into two equal halves which cover each other completely. Whereas some other objects have vertical lines of symmetry, some have both while some have none. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.